Uh, spring practice has been going well. You know, uh, all the quarterbacks were competing against each other. And really with ourselves, you know, we're just competing, like I said. And just with the new QB coach, Coach Yost, has been showing us a lot of good things in the last five weeks. And, you know, just it, it starts with us leadership and us having to make plays. And other than that, everything's going well. Through the first month, what we've been trying to improve on the quarterbacks and get to, get better at is uh, everything we can in footwork. Um, using our feet to put ourselves in position to be uh, successful in throws, and that's uh, balance. Using that is kind of a, a critical part for everything. The more the more you use your feet, the better your feet are, the more accurate you are. Everything kind of starts at the at the base there, so that's a that's a big deal. And then constantly just uh, kind of re-emphasizing and learning the offense inside and out, so we know every aspect of it. Uh, so when we call a play, there's no thought, well, this and this, no, boom, it just sticks in your head. That's what's happening. So then I can go out and either take what the defense is giving me or attack the defense, whichever, whichever kind of presents itself mostly. The quarterbacks have you know, adjusted well. Um, I kind of had this offense in high school, so I kind of adjusted to it probably the fastest. And you know, it's really with me teaching the young guys. I've, you know, me and Jordan have been hanging out a lot, and um, DJ Nelson's really smart. He, he's been coming along pretty good as well. And like I said, we're just all out here just trying to have fun during the spring and get ready to win the Mountain West Championship. The expectations for the offense should be uh, that we're kind of a, a high, uh, high tempo, um, highly efficient. Uh, putting guys in position to be successful, We're trying to get our playmakers the ball in space as much as we can, um, getting the ball to 19 and 9 and 5 out in space and getting the ball to the backs as they go and then continuing to bring along the, uh, the other wide receivers behind them because we're going to need them. Um, that always kind of shows up that way and then uh, kind of continue to and how we're going to use the tight end within our run game within the play action and then also within the, the passing game with uh, with Dax and kind of Hobbs have really kind of added something there that will be I think fun fun for them and fun for us to be able to kind of create a lot of mismatches. The competition is always kind of going on. Um, uh, Kent's done some really really good things and kind of is uh, I think is improved from day one to day uh, 14 today and uh, we'll continue that and then really what goes on now between uh, now when we get to two days and then how two days kind of progress uh, I mean he's done a really good job in that way and kind of grabbing uh, kind of grabbing control of things and taking charge uh, loves made a lot of progress as a quarterback and you can see it on a kind of a day-to-day -day, uh, improvement some days uh, there's big steps forward and some days they're kind of like uh, well, you're a redshirt freshman, and those things happen and everything. And then uh, DJ has really kind of made a push here toward the end of spring of kind of stepping his game up and putting himself in position so he can compete and see who can kind of be the, the guy to lead the offense. And tell me about Coach Yost. What do you like about him? I like him a lot. He's chill. Um, he has a lot of knowledge with him being at Oregon, Washington State, and um, Missouri. And with him, you know, coaching Chase Daniels, you know, he's mm -hmm. from South Lake. That's in my area. And just really seeing his background, really seeing what he's bringing to us and the advantages that we have, uh, you know, we're just really uh, happy that he's here. What have you done this spring to improve your game? Uh, you know, just the little things. Like I said, it starts with me being a leader, and I have to start with making plays. Um, and like I said, we just got to come out here and just compete every day. Is there someone on the offensive side of the ball that has really impressed you through spring that jumped out? Uh, Jaron Coastal Green, he's doing a phenomenal job. Uh, he's going out there competing every day and just going up and getting the balls. And, you know, he wants to get the ball just like everybody else, but he really showed me that he's ready to play this year. As the offense kind of went in and everything, I think uh, what we're trying to do is continue to improve on our, on our fundamentals and techniques on every individual play. Um, trying not to have too many plays or too much thinking. We want to play as fast as we can with our with our tempo, but also with our uh, kind of execution that our, the kids aren't thinking when they when they see a play, see a signal, get the uh, get the get the play from the quarterback. That's a lot more reactionary, a lot more playing fast. That uh, I've done it so many times and just kind of I know how it works. And when this guy does this, I do this type thing. Um, and the difference is, it's I mean, there's a lot of similarities being a, a kind of a spread. Uh, option offense where we can kind of use the quarterback uh, in the run game as a distributor in the run game or using him in the pass game trying to get the ball vertical as much as we can in the pass game there and then uh, being as efficient as we can and taking care of the football and all the things it takes and then the situational things the third downs the red zone the uh, two minute stuff that we're very very well schooled on how we do things so we can go out and execute it at a high level every day in that way and then it's making make explosive plays as you can while we're kind of running the uh, the regular part of the offense. It's really our offense. We have a lot of audibles. We It's really, like I said, our offense where we can really have the freedom to do whatever we want and, you know, just get it to our athletes. The surprises this spring play, for the most part, came that uh, we're, we have some really highly skilled uh, players in the skill areas um, with, uh, with Tarver and 
Lewis and then Colston Green's kind of continued to progress and then the guys behind them have made plays enough that you kind of you feel confident and comfortable that they can play in games for you and then the, the backs have been really good in, in all aspects from not just running the football but in, in protections and also in the uh, understanding of what we're trying to do within the in the offense and getting them the ball out in space in the screen game or even in the, in the drop back and quick game that way the offensive line has probably been a kind of a surprise a little bit because here at the end of spring we're basically repping four guys that weren't getting reps last year at any and then Sean Taylor is really the only guy that has seen any practice action with the with the ones twos last year as he was traveled even though he redshirted he got some plays but with uh, Roman at left tackle and uh, Shaw kind of coming along at left guard and then Quinn at center and then uh, right guard now with Rob stepping in there as we kind of deal with guys getting dinged up and everything. I mean, three of those guys weren't on campus last fall, and they've kind of stepped in and really kind of helped and solidify that. And we got a long way to go, but we're working with the right guys, and they've kind of uh, probably stepped forward a little bit more than you would expect some new on-campus guys to do this early on, especially getting through spring.